Yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Something important we need to discuss. Right, yeah. If it's about your wife. My wife? Oh, I know all about that little tart seducing you. She seduced me? She was only trying to get back at me for my own last indiscretion. You mean you don't care? Of course I don't. She's just in danger of you. Do you really think that she would be with me if it weren't for all my money? She's just frightened. In case I trade her in for a younger model. So, she jumped you, just to get back at me, because of the uh, former friendship that we had. What do you mean, former friendship? <sighs> yeah. And now for the crunch. Five years ago, you was a hot shot player. Now look at you. Gambling drunk. You earn a lot of money and yet you've still got debts coming out of your ears. Your wife left you and work. We've got a, a whole team of people putting in hundreds of man hours a week, pulling in the big bucks. All apart from you. I, I know. Listen, I'm grateful you've been fudging the figures and covering my ass, but look, just give me a bit more time, will you? I'll make it up, I promise. Six months ago, I told you to get your shit together. Now, somebody in the board of directors has noticed that someone isn't pulling their weight. So therefore, somebody has to be held accountable. And that someone is you. Me? After well, there's loyalty! 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 Don't you dare talk to me about loyalty. This is all because I slept with your wife. I don't give a toss that you slept with my wife. But we can...
You'll kill them anyway. What a boring program. No wonder you're not really watching it. How are you enjoying your unemployment so far? I know it's a very lonely existence. Well, for some anyway. And since you haven't been very successful in making any friends, I thought I'd keep you company. Don't really want any right now. Oh, not to worry. I'll be a very good friend. In fact, I'll be your best friend. I don't want any right now. Well, if you look at it, I'm actually an old friend. We've been together for a few years and I've made you laugh, cry, and when you put on an interesting video, I've given you pleasure. Don't be rude! My wife had just left me and they... Oh, I was feeling a bit low, okay? Don't you mean Randy? Hey! Look, one more word out of you and I'm pulling your plug! Oh, I see. Right. You do that, sunshine, and you'll be lost forever. Remember, I am your friend, and if you listen to me, you might, just might, find a bit of inspiration to get back on your feet. Back on my feet? Ask yourself how many people you have seen since you were fired. How many days have gone by since you saw your last sunrise or sunset? Doesn't every day seem like the one that has just been? Come to think of it, how many days have you been wearing the same pants? Right then. What are you doing? What's it look like? I'm going out. I'm getting away from things like talking television sets. After all we've been through, you just, just carry on, my friend. friend. But you'll, you'll soon, soon realise that there is more to life than living and breathing. One's mind is more than you think. It controls one's perception of the world. And think you see and understand that there is more to it. What you think and what you act upon are all tied together to make the whole experience of life. You can see me. Of course I can. Of course you can. Why wouldn't you? Sorry, I'm not having a good time of it right now. It's always the same. Sad little cynics like you lose their way and expecting to find guidance in something they've never believed in before. It's just as well the Almighty is all forgiving. Or it may not feel like helping someone like you, someone who has denied his existence by not having faith. You've lost me. I always have, my son. Don't worry about it, Mom. You're only the unemployed. These things have a way to sort themselves out. You always were a bit of a lost soul. But, I mean, do you actually... <laughs> Last year. 
Must it wasn't worth the grass stains. I don't think she cares. She slept away to the top. <laughs> it's a shame all the bosses are men, otherwise I'd do the same. So, we're depressed. Well, apparently so. But I've been depressed before. Nothing like this has ever happened. Oh, well, I don't understand it either, but that's the way it Scumbag. is. Scumbag. Finally did it. He got rid of me. I know he would. Well, you did sleep with me. So what? He's always sleeping around, this bastard. One rule for him and another rule for me. Only now. He thinks he's in love with this lady Thumbo he's been seeing, my loveless man. Unless you are actually in love with him. No, never was. Well, that's the funny thing about life. You never know what you've got until it's gone. He throws me out of the house. He swears I won't see a penny of his money. And that's that. So, back myself into a hotel. Woke up and everything's different. I know. It's to do with levels of uh, depression and how we view reality. Well, that sort of thing. So, what happens now? Hungry? I mean, my treat, well, I'll cook, that is. Any good? Well, I've always enjoyed it. Cooking that is. How was it? Spaghetti bolognese. My favourite. If I knew you were such a brilliant chef, I'd have eaten out. I like her. Oh, shut up! Rootness. I didn't know you had it in you. I always put you down as a bit of a wet blanket myself. I wasn't talking. I was talking to him. Who? But the television, I mean. Well, doesn't your TV talk to you? Sorry, I'm a busy girl. I haven't got time to talk to appliances. Well, anyway, look, look, there's your tea. Oh, cheers. Oh. So, uh, we just get new jobs then? Well, it stands to reason. We're both money people. So when you lost your job and that shithead cut me out, Things went a bit wrong. Well, I suppose so. Right. So tomorrow we'll get the paper, look in the job section and make a start. It's getting late. So it is. Well, um, don't you think you should be going home or something? Well, I was thinking. Seeing as though we're both depressed and no one can see us, we might as well stick together on this one until it's all over. Well, I'll just get you some bedding. What for? So you can make yourself comfortable in here. Well, you don't need to worry with that. It's all right. I'll just keep in with you. That's not going to be a very good idea, is it? Oh, go on. I don't bite. Well, you do, actually. another bottle. Good idea. You know, I feel like a real unemployed person these days. How come? You know, it doesn't matter how broke we are, we can always afford alcohol and Chinese takeaways. 
And you can still afford a TV license. And I wasn't talking to you. You never do these days. You're too busy with your bit of totty. I beg your pardon? Come on, she's been staying here for over a week now. Mark my words, you're only a glass of wine away from marriage and then kids. Package holidays in Spain and the dreaded mother-in-law coming around for Sunday lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. So, what happens now? Um, well, I wonder if it's on the telly. No! Come and talk to me. Right, um... So what would you like to talk about? I don't have very nice eyes, do you? So, right. Well, that's my eyes discussed, so, uh, what next? Actually, there's nothing really sexy about you at all, is there? Oh. Ah, I was once told I had a very nice bum. No, oh, not a bum person, never was. Right. So, come on, what do you think about me then? Think I'm Well, I think you're a total bitch. I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, you're a very attractive girl. I mean, you're, I mean, you're gorgeous. And, um, well, what can I say? I mean, well, actually, your name's not very sexy, is it? Your name? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I thought a real sexy girl like you would have you know, a real turn me on names. They're like Nora or Beryl. <laughs> what? I mean, look there. Now, there's a name that really turns me on. <laughs> Beryl. <laughs> you mean you shout oh, Beryl when we were making love? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Beryl. <laughs> That's my head in. <laughs> I think I've had too much to drink. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, let me just go get your bedding. Don't even think it. Spoil sport. I, I saw him. He was just right. He was there. I could, I could see him. Hmm. Well, he got a good look at you. Well, hey. We got job interviews. Yeah. We got job interviews. You. Me seem to have jobs. It's just too good to be true. You and me. Well, yeah, you know, I was hoping you and me, you know, since, well, you know. You said what? Yeah, thanks. 
Yumei, hein? Yes! Oh, I've got a girl, I'm gonna get a job! Yes! Uh, carrying like that, and you choked. Right. future employer stops the interview halfway through and tells you doesn't think you're right for the job. Well, don't let it get you down. It's only your first interview. Yeah. So, come on. How did you get on? Oh, not too bad. I'm not building my hopes for anything. Yeah. Why don't you sit down and open this? Yeah. Okay. She's lying. What? You know she is. You can tell. She got the job and she can't bring herself to tell you. Well, not yet anyway. You'll read about it in the Dear John that she's going to leave you in the morning. That's just typical of you, isn't it, eh? You just can't accept the fact that she's with me. She's only with you as long as it suits her. Now that you've helped her get back on her feet, she's off. She's just a user. She doesn't give a damn, especially about you. That's not true. No. Strange. She only got you drunk and slept with you to get back at her cheating husband. Oh, yes, but... But nothing. She hasn't got any real feeling. Why was she in a loveless marriage, eh? She's a money person, and that's all she will ever care for. No, that's not true. Of course it's true, and you know it. Did she ever take notice of you before all this happened? No. And what happened when she became depressed and ended up a lost soul like you? Who did she go looking for? Who? That's only because we're on the same level of depression, that's all. How convenient. Out of all the depressed people in the world, she just happens to be on the same level as you. You're just trying to stir things up between us. No, I'm telling you what you already know. You're just lying to yourself because, well... Who wouldn't like to have her around? She does have her uses. You know it's not like that. She used you. She knows you don't have any self-confidence, and neither does she. And that's why she latched onto and married your old boss. And that is why she's with you now. You may not have self-confidence, but you've got ability to get yourself back into reality. And she's tapped into that, and now she's off. I, I, I don't... Good wine yet? Oh, of course, yeah, right, yeah. Well, you know, we have to toast your success, don't we? What? Well, you got the job, didn't you? No. She's lying. Why are you lying to me? I'm not. Of course she is. I mean, well, what are you doing with me? What are you talking about? She can't stop lying. It's in her nature. I mean, has everyone been playing me for a mug? I mean, what have I done to deserve this? What? What's got into you? The truth. I mean, I just realised, you know, I don't know why, but you needed me for something. Well, now you've got what you wanted, you're going. You got the job, didn't you? Of course she did. I want to hear it from her. I want to hear the truth from her. Well, come on, you got the job, didn't you? Offered me the job. The job. Ha! Doesn't finally, it... the truth. I mean, telling 
me the truth and to be a novel experience for you. Oh, get stuffed, you little shit. Let's put all this on. Are you jealous? She can't talk to you like that. Especially when she's leaving tomorrow morning. I see, now you've gone up in the world, you're going to be leaving. Don't be daft. Why would I want to leave you? Of course she's leaving. I saw her write the dear John. It's in the drawer next to you. Oh, so I should be grateful that you took the time out to write me a goodbye letter. What are you talking about? Here we go again. More lies. So you're saying to me, if I don't look in there, I'm not going to find a letter written by you telling me what a complete prat you've all taken me for. You've got her now. I wrote that letter a couple of weeks ago. Before we started to... Well, I make love. I, I thought... I guess I was wrong. What does she know about love? She used you. Do you want to know how nonsensical the world really is? Take electricity. That's generated by running water. And that's a natural resource. And some bastard sits behind a desk and charges us for it. They make us pay. I really like to meet the guy who invented fiscal policy and take his so-called hard-earned cash and shove it up his arse. They're just money lovers. And you're one of them. You don't give a damn! Well, fuck you. I thought you were different. I thought you were special. But you're not. You're just like my darling husband. When things don't go your way, you shit on everybody else. And just because I got the job and you haven't. It gives you carte blanche to come down on me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. To think I was going to ring the company and turn down the job. I guess I was wrong. I must have been a fool. Well, don't let me stop you. Go on. Take your job. Take your money. And leave! Just you and me now, the way it was meant to be. You and me. You and me. There is no you and me! There is no you and me! There's no you and me! Selfish little man, you just don't get it. Reality is a state of mind. And that was it. Have I really brought all this upon myself? Did the TV trick me into losing Laura? Or was it all really my own paranoia? And this vicar, is he some messenger who's come to punish me? Or is he some strange alter ego trying to tell me something? Will I ever be able to get myself out of this depressed reality?